Welcome to our preview of Reed Smith's Trademark Management Mapping Program. To meet our clients' changing trademark management needs in a global marketplace, Reed Smith developed a Trademark Management Mapping Program. With it, our clients have real-time data displayed either in map form, chart form, or both in presentation-ready format. When patterns are buried in data, they are harder to see. Our new system reduces clutter while preserving the basic data relationships. Upon accessing the program, you will need a unique username and password, which will only give you access to your information. This secure login will validate the access to only your data. Once you have logged in, you will be presented with the welcome screen. Select Trademark Mapping to access the seven interactive menu options. Our system is menu-driven. Maps and charts are built by combining any one of the following seven options. Trademarks. Every single trademark in your portfolio is listed here as a potential map factor. Owners. Owners give you access to all of your trademark data, which may be owned by you or a third party. Clients. The only client in your database will be you. Countries. There are over 200 countries in the world. You can create maps composed of your trademarks based off the selected countries. Attorneys. You can arrange your maps and charts to reflect trademarks being worked on by a specific supervising attorney. Agents. Every trademark in your database has a unique trademark agent for its country. You will find a list of the agents here. You can arrange maps and charts by an individual agent or group of agents. Status. Any and all of these designations are provided as another map factor. Let's take a look at a map and chart generated by Reed Smith's Trademark Management Mapping Program. We will return to the Trademarks menu by selecting the Trademarks tab. We will choose ACME as the trademark. Select the trademark by clicking it and then use the arrow button to move the trademark from the left column to the right. We have just included ACME in our map. Next, click Generate Map. The map will be color-coded based on the senior trademark claim for the country. Now that we have generated a map, let's look at a chart. Select Report from the buttons in the top left corner of the screen to view the chart. The chart contains a list of all countries in alphabetical order. Use your browser's back button to return to the map. Select Unlisted from the buttons in the top left corner of the screen to view the countries where the ACME trademark is not found. Remember, use your browser's back button to return to the map. Now that we have generated a map and viewed the detail of the chart, Let's discuss some additional features of the map. As mentioned earlier, when patterns are buried in data, they are harder to see. This map illustrates a global trademark portfolio in a ready access format, replacing an extensive text report. But what if you only wanted details for a specific country? Let's use Russia as an example. Click the map once, a label appears for the country indicated with your cursor. Click again to view the chart for the country. Use your browser's back button when you are finished with the chart to return to the map. What if you wanted to view Russia and its surrounding regions? Select Search from the buttons in the top left corner of the screen. From the menu on the left side of the screen, choose the region. We will select Asia. From here, you can view the chart for China. Click the map once, a label appears for China. Click again to view the chart for China. Remember to use your browser's back button to return to the map. We have demonstrated a simple map and chart. Now, let's look at something more advanced to see what this system can really do. Select Search from the buttons in the top left corner of the screen. Select Reset Search 
to remove the existing search criteria. Let's demonstrate a client-based search. Select Clients from the seven interactive menu options. We will choose Acme Client Company as the client. Select the client by clicking it and then use the arrow button to move the client from the left column to the right. We have just included Acme Client Company in our map. Next, click Generate Map. The legend box will identify the three different colors displayed in the map. We have just created a map based on the client, the client's competitor, and the client's licensee. Remember, to view the chart for a specific country, click the map once. A label appears for the country indicated with your cursor. Click again to view the chart for the country. Use your browser's back button when you are finished with the chart to return to the map. Select Search from the buttons in the top left corner of the screen to return to the search screen. Let's create a map of trademark activity for a specific attorney. Select Reset Search to remove the existing search criteria. Select Attorneys from the seven interactive menu options. We will choose Darren Cohen as the attorney. Select the attorney by clicking his or her name and then use the arrow button to move the attorney from the left column to the right. We have just included Darren Cohen in our map. Next, click Generate Map. This map indicates everything that this attorney is working on. Suppose this attorney only wants to view the registered trademarks that he is working on. Select Search to return to the search screen. Instead of resetting the search, we will build on the existing search. Select Status from the seven interactive menu options. We only want to include Registered and Renewed. Select the status to exclude by clicking it and then use the arrow button to move the status from the right column to the left column. We have just included Registered and Renewed in our map. Next, click Generate Map. This map indicates all of the trademarks for Darren Cohen that are registered and or renewed. Let's view the chart for Chad. Click the map once. A label appears for the country indicated with your cursor. We have selected Chad. Click again to view the chart for Chad. This concludes our preview of Reed Smith's Trademark Management Mapping Program. You've now seen both a simple and complex application of the program, illustrating the many management tools the program offers. If you have any questions or further interest in Reed Smith's Trademark Management Mapping Program, please contact us at 212-521-5400 and ask for Darren Cohen or Steve Getzoff. Thank you for your attention.